most people understand that meditation brings a wide variety of benefits and a wide variety of results. Meditation has been around for a really long time. And it's even been around in the West for a long time. You know, you can go back to like the transcendentalists in the 1800s, late, late 1700s. <clears throat> and the, the gift, of course, of meditation is that it touches us in every regard. So whether we're brand new to meditation or we're kind of shopping around to find something that will increase and enhance a meditative practice that we already have in place, we're just looking to deepen some aspect of the meditation practice that we have in place. There's no shortage of possibilities when it comes to meditation. And that's, you know, I don't know how many things that we can say that about. I guess food. <laughs> we can say that about food. <laughs> and, and I guess there are a lot of things. I'm thinking of reading and things like that. Just as I said, the sentence, of course, all these examples came into my mind. But maybe meditation is the only one that can bring such positive benefit to every single part of a human being, including the parts that they don't even know they have. So it can affect us physically, this we know, biofeedback, reducing of our heart rate or our blood pressure or things like that. You know, emotional well-being mental clarity, creativity, on and on and on. We all know these things. And almost anybody who is at least interested in a meditation also knows these things. <clears throat> but meditation... Meditation um, has the ability to touch us personally very deeply. in doing so to open us to ourselves and in doing that open us to more and of course it could be argued that a prayer practice uh, a devotional practice etc would do the same thing. I think that there is a part of the road that is certainly very similar. But I don't think that I don't I don't think that it's true that meditate that the others will take us as far as a good practice of meditation. And as I always say, what designates good? Good just means that it brings you the most powerful, even profound, benefits that, that your practice can bring you. And if your practice isn't bringing you that, shop around for another practice. Truth be told, shop around for another practice. There are factors within meditation that as we learn to live them, live them in our practice and then live them in our life, that they will change everything. And the beauty of meditation, kind of like learning to read and write, is that we just do it. And when we just do it, the changes in our life just show up. And when we were kids, we just did it. We just traced the letters. We just mouthed our ABCs. And one day, we could read a book. And we could write a letter. So, this is meditation too. And this is the beauty of meditation is that if we put in a little bit of effort and as adults 
we get kind of picky about where we put our effort. But if we put our effort here, here, if we put our effort here, you know, and things that bring us home, then the benefits of here <laughs> are, are going to be available to us. And this is a good thing. <laughs> so, meditation is a good thing. And as you are shopping around, try this one on for size. See if it, see if it's good for you. And if it's not, I hope you find one that is. Because meditation changes everything.